Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Film Magic here. Today I'm gonna show you how to animate a still picture. Have fun! So at first you need a picture where something stands out. In my case it's a big wall with a great gravity on it. And then if the picture is 4x3, make it 16x9 by clicking on the crop icon, crop and then we have our film size. Go uh, over here and make sure the viewfinder size is 50% because for the next step we need to see what happens outside our frame. Go over here to effects. Type in, draw mask, and drag it onto your clip. Now you need to decide which part of the picture needs to stand out. In my case it's the wall, therefore I'm gonna cut the wall out. And also make sure that you, you are not only cutting out one thing, but also um, the lower part of the picture or the upper part on, of the picture. It depends on your picture. You will see why. So I'm gonna also cut out the grass like this, the wall, and here a little bit of the grass, and then cut around this picture like this. Now we have our foreground. Our background we are getting by again going on the clip, type in command C, then go over here, command V, and drag this one under this one. Now you just need to deactivate the draw mask and we again have our normal picture. But to make this uh, foreground stand out we go to our effects, type in Gaussian and drag it onto the lower clip. And now we can see the foreground is in focus, the background is out of focus. How it is now it looks a little bit unnatural therefore just make the effect not so strong like this. Cool. And now we of course want that the whole picture moves. Therefore go on the upper clip, click the crop icon, go to the Ken Burns effect and yeah leave the ending and starting frame as it is, so in this direction, but um, adjust the size of the starting frame. So like this. Done. And now go on the lower picture, go also to the crop icon, can burns effect. This direction will also stay as it is. Make the ending frame a little bit bigger. And that's it. Now if we play it, we have our moving picture. But after some times you, al you always can see the object you've cut out in the first clip. Uh, therefore just make the clips a little bit longer than the effect is a little bit more slowly but we have still this nicely 3D effect. It also looks a little bit like the vertigo effect. So yeah, and this is basically how you do to animate your picture and if you have any further questions just ask me in the comments below. Subscribe, like, it would be amazing, it would mean a lot to me. Have a wonderful day, bye bye. Oh, 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 oh,